hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel today's video is on how to sew a scallop neckline so this is a continuation of our previous video where i showed you how to draft out the patterns so if you're interested in this sewing tutorial please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and you should also turn on your notification bell to be notified when there is a new video on this channel so without further ado let's get on to the tutorial So we'll be starting off by joining the front bodies. As you can see, I pinned the boss pad at the side part, and then I did the same thing for the center front of the princess dot. So then after securing the pad down with my pins, I'll go ahead to show you how to stitch the princess dot together. Stitching from the bottom part. So I place one of the sides to the center front and I'll pin it from the bottom part with half an inch so now i've already gone ahead to notch the under bust for the side front and then the center front so make sure that those two notches meet so after sewing it to the under bust we will start curving the princess that area to meet with the center front curve and then make sure that the point at the end is equal so we'll be doing the same thing for the other side so i'll take it to my sewing machine later and show you how to stitch it now so for this back part i'm just going to explain everything once so that this video will not be too lengthy i remove my patterns and then i'll open up the patterns the two back and then i'll go ahead to join so i use the pattern to identify which side go together so i went ahead to notch the side part that go together and then the upper part so i'll just go ahead to join the seams with half an inch now this is very easy so i'll keep this part aside and i'll go ahead to stitch our princess that so i'm about to sew the princess that now like i said before i'll be starting the stitching from the half length area and then after stitching it to my under bust which is that notched line that you see i notch the center front and then the side front so then after stitching it to my under bust you will see me covering the other parts to sew the princess that area and then i'll sew it to be equal to meet at the end point so i'll be leaving this video slowly so you guys can see how i did it because i've had requests of people saying i want to sew i want to learn how to sew breast tube learn how to sew princess that so this is a detailed tutorial on how to join it to give you that perfect curve so if you've not watched the previous video of our cutting tutorial please go ahead to watch it so you'll be able to achieve a perfect princess that So after i finished stitching it i'll go ahead to notch my underbrush points i notch it to be closer to the seam line so as you can see i've not even gone ahead to iron out the cup area and it is already looking fine so i'll go ahead to stitch the other side so i'll start stitching from the half length and i'll be doing this off camera i'll come back and show you how to iron it so I'll start by opening the seams of the underbust area and I'll iron it open. So I'm using water because this iron is not a steam iron, but if you have a steam iron, then it should be better. So then after ironing that seams open, I'll be using my breast ball to iron the remaining part. So I'll be opening the seam line at the princess that and then giving it a good press to make the seams to be open. Now after you finish ironing it inside, I'll turn to the front side and then give it a good press and that is just how to iron your princess that so this is after i finish ironing the princess that cup and as you can see it is so relaxed so the next thing i'm going to do is to turn the scallop neckline so i'll bring in my lining that i've already sewn and ironed to just as i did for the main fabric and then i'll place the line in front side facing front side then i'll go ahead to pin the neckline together 
so as you can see i started pinning from the shoulder line and i'll be following the shape till i get to one side of the sweetheart neckline then i'll do the same thing for the second side so then after securing it down with my pins i'll be using an aiming gum to join it together so i'll be sewing using my aiming gum the reason why i'll be joining it with an aiming gum is so that after sewing and ironing the lining and the fabric is just going to gum together this is it after i finished sewing it with the aiming gum now after doing that i went ahead to notch all the v corners of the scallop neckline so then i'll go ahead to turn it inside out and then take it to my ironing table to give it a good press so when ironing make sure to move your lining behind your fabric very well so that you get a perfect curl on your neckline So now I'll be attending to the back pattern. I'll remove the patterns from the fabric and then after removing it, I'll just open it together like so. Then as you can see, this is the neckline, the shoulder and then the stylish back line. So I'll go ahead to turn one side of the back. I'll be turning the neckline and then the stylish back because this back pattern is going to have buttons. So I'll go ahead to turn one side first and then show you what next. So I'll pin it down and I'll go ahead to stitch it. You can go ahead to sew with your aiming gum just as we did for the front, but it is totally optional. So this is one side that I've already turned. And then I have the other side, which I went ahead to turn just the neckline. So then the next thing I'm going to do is to create my buttons, my button O. So I have this long strip here that I'm going to use to create the button holes. So I'll go ahead to mark how many buttons I want for the back pattern. And then I'll be using 2 inch or 2.5 for each of the button loops. So each of the loops, I'll just go ahead to pin it starting from beneath the neckline. And then after I have pinned down all the loops for the back, I'll use my lining to turn it just the way I did for the other side. You can just go ahead to use three inches, in fact, for the loop holes, because it is better that it is big than for it to be too small to pass your buttons. So this is the back after I finish turning it and then I'll go ahead to fix the buttons for the other side. So then I've already given it a good press. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join the back pattern to it and then turn it with my lining. Just the way I placed it like so, I'll turn the yoke and then I'll pin it on the chest line area of the back pattern. And then I'll be using the lining to cover it up. So make sure that the lining is front side facing front side with the fabric. So I'll go ahead to pin. Make sure that the lining that and the fabric that are meeting together. And then after pinning it, I'll take it to my sewing machine to stitch it down. So we're doing the same thing for the other side of the back. And then after I turn into the lining, I'll go ahead to top stitch the neckline and iron it. So then this is the front part of the dress. Now after stitching your own and giving it a good press, it should be looking very neat like so on the inside. And then this is for the back pattern. I've already gone ahead to iron it to make it relax. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to join the shoulder 
and then after that you shape your dress and then the next thing is to add your bottom part if it's a peplum you just go ahead to add your peplum after shaping your upper body or if it's a two-piece a skirt or a jumpsuit you add your other bottom part let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this out and if you do please send a picture and tag me on instagram at eleganza tv or you can ask for my whatsapp number so you send the picture to me because i would love to see your own recreation so to join the shoulder i'll just place the front and the back together and then i'll pin the shoulder line then after doing that i'll just go ahead to sew with the shape that i have there now i'll be stitching with half an inch or 0 0.5 inch to make it tight note that the front shoulder and the back shoulder should be equal so then i'll just go ahead to sew with the shape like i said before so after you're done sewing you're just going to shape your dress and add your sleeve Okay, so this is the shoulder side. After I finished sewing it, I went ahead to open the seams and iron it. But you can go ahead to weave that rough edge. So then this is the finished look of the dress. So when I'm done with the finished look of the dress, I'll take a picture and post it on my channel. So do turn on your notification bell to be notified when there is a new video on this channel. And also do well to subscribe. Thanks for watching.